Hey there fellas, Gare Bear here, and I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I've completely neglected my YouTube for some time. I've also been neglecting Twitch. I've been sick. I'm actually just on the cusp of getting over being sick. My wife had a bunch of days off. I am literally going to blame it on everyone else but me. It is not my fault. So today I wanted to do an easily amused Gear Bear review, and what I am bringing you is the Nintendo new 3DS. Now, isn't that the most fucking accurate way to name something, is just throw new in front of it? Literally, this thing is so fucking hard to find by Googling because people literally think you're just looking for a new 3DS, not a new 3DS. The fact that that sounds so fucked up kind of tells you how hard it is to search for this thing. But no, this is the new, with the on it, Nintendo 3DS. So, I've already opened this thing, I've been playing with it for a few days now, and I wanted to bring you my opinions, my personal thoughts. But first, let's take a look at this console. <clears throat> so... This is the console, looks almost exactly like the 3DS XL. What you'll notice though is this tiny little nubbings. Oh, let me find, okay. Tiny little nubbin right here. This looks a lot like those uh, nubbins that were used as a mouse on old laptops. Uh, you also, it, this is the C-Stick by the way. It, it can control your um, like camera movement in most video games. You have the color-coded, kind of like the Super Nintendo buttons right here. And uh, something I've noticed is they have a bit more of a click to them. They're not as mushy compared to uh, the original 3DS XL. The start and select buttons have been moved right here, which I personally really like because I rest this on my chest or on my belly while I am playing video games. And uh, I don't like having to fish along the base for the start or select button. Home button, still right in the middle. D-pad, everything else is the same. The volume slider has been moved right here. So, yeah, right there. And, uh, alright, something everyone has been pointing out is uh, this little black dot. This is the new... Super stable 3D, 3D extra stable that is being advertised. And uh, what it is, people are saying it's a second camera added that tracks your head movement so that you always get the 3D effect and you don't have to sit perfectly like this to maintain that 3D sweet spot. Uh, it's actually not a camera. I've been looking at this thing and I think I can safely deduce that this is actually emitting infrared light, uh, much like the Kinect does. So, uh, you can see it kind of light up every now and then if it's in really dark situations, and it would also explain why this works so well in the dark. Uh, that was my first question when I was looking at this thing, because I usually play video games in a pretty dark environment. I was wondering, how well will this thing track my head if it's dark? The answer is, it actually tracks it very well just by the screen light and maybe a little bit of TV light. Uh, I've actually used this in my bedroom, all the lights turned off, 3 in the morning and had no problem with it tracking my head. So yeah, that I believe is not a second camera. Pretty sure that this is emitting infrared light that is being tracked by the camera. Which is really fucking cool, it's kind of like a little mini connect sensor built into your 3DS. And that's pretty badass. So looking around this thing, I'm going to give it a quick wipe down, even though I already did. That's going to be my first complaint. This thing is glossy on the outside. It's glossy on the back. It's glossy on the front. I dislike that. As a person that has been described as a greasy fat fuck, I leave fingerprints all over this thing like crazy. I... I bothers me because I feel like I need to constantly be wiping it down with a microfiber cloth and it just freaking instantly gets messy again. So that's my first gripe. Second gripe is, as a lot of people have known, it's been repeated so many times, this does not include a charger. You have to use your charger from the last iteration, the now I guess you can call old 3DS. 
Same charging port as the quote unquote old 3DS. Not too much of a problem. I actually had two, even though I only have one 3DS, I had an extra charger. But uh, it, it's still kind of like a, hey, wow, what the fuck? Uh, Alright, the everything's pretty much been moved to the front. There's the game port. This is the front of the console. There's the game port, headphone jack, this is the stylus, the power button, and all of your LED array right here. A lot of people have been complaining about the game slot being moved to the front. I actually really like it there because now I'm not, I, I've yet to accidentally pop the game out. I've done that before when it was on the center in the back. So that's kind of, I kind of like that. Alright, so let's look at the box, these features that they are trying to sell us. The Super Stable 3D, we already talked about that. This has built-in Amiibo support. So these little guys work with this thing out of the box. Now that's pretty sweet. I don't have Super Smash Brothers yet. It is in the mail. I'll have that here soon. Maybe I'll do a video and be like, boop, hey, look, it works. But yeah, the NFC pad is actually built right in to the bottom screen so it would simply bam amiibo support pretty sweet i really like that that's kind of cool i've been kind of getting way too into these oh my god they drained my money but yeah built-in amiibo support cool nintendo c stick we already talked about that the little nubbins i you know what i've played the super smash brothers demo here and um I have to say, the C-Stick actually works really well. I like it. it I, I don't know how it would fare in, say, a first-person shooter or anything like that, although I've never really played first-person shooters on a handheld. But, for getting your smash attacks, works pretty well. And then it has the faster processing power. Boop, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. Faster processing power. So, this is actually going to have new 3DS exclusives eventually. That's what everyone's saying. That's even what Nintendo has been kind of like throwing around. Because it has an upgraded processor from what I can find. It's the same processor as in the old 3DS. But it's kind of been overclocked. It has a little bit more power. You notice this when games are starting up. They start up a little faster. The web browser works a little faster. Although I've never really used the web browser ever, so that's kind of a moot point. But, hey, uh, if we can get games that really take advantage of the faster processor, that would be awesome. I would really enjoy that. I'm not exactly sure what they would do, though. Anyways, I've been playing with this thing. Uh, it's kind of rekindled my interest in playing my 3DS. My old 3DS has been really neglected for the last forever but uh recently i found devil survivor overclocked you might remember that as the release this was a launch title when the 3ds very first came out i never got to play through it now i finally am playing through it and uh it's a pretty fun game it's so yeah the new 3ds has rekindled my 3ds passion and i've been playing a really old 3ds release launch title so, yeah, I really like this console, currently retailing for $199. Again, I got a pretty nice discount on it, and uh, I would I warrant it as an upgrade? I think that if you're like me and you don't like seeing people have technology that you want and don't have, you're going to go out and buy it no matter what. If I told you that this thing was a piece of shit upgrade, you would probably go out and buy it anyways because it's Nintendo and you love Nintendo. Um, I, I think that it's a pretty decent upgrade. If you like the Amiibos, if you want the C-State support, if you think that the faster processor is going to bring you some cool exclusives, go out and try it. If you are perfectly happy with your old 3DS, keep your old 3DS and keep on gaming because that's what it's all about. So, this has been Gare Bear with the Zeasley Amuse Reviews and I hope you enjoyed Share, taking a look at the new 3DS with me. I wonder what they're going to call the next iteration. Is it going to be the new 3DS XL Ultra? The new, super new, the super new 3DS. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good